Hello, I'm on to the next phase in uh, permanently affixing my uh, buildings in the little village of my Polar Express traditional O gauge layout. I've put down the, pla the structo, um, I'm sorry, plastruct brick sheets that I aged in an earlier video to make them look more uh, traditional and I have leveled the buildings on them uh, quite well. They're uh, maybe slightly off a little bit but not enough to, to really matter or be noticeable. And I have uh, now put the uh, plaster edging around where the uh, plastruct sheets end. So on the edges of plastruct sheets there's always a little bit of elevation because they're not uh, really rigid or anything like that. So in some cases I bent them down and glued them to the layout. In other cases I didn't bend them. I simply filled in around the bottom edges with plaster in order to finish up the uh, layout. I've used this blue uh, painter's masking tape to protect uh, other parts of the uh, plaster on the layout from the uh, new plaster that I'm using to fill in under the edge of the plastruck sheeting. And when I have everything is thoroughly dried, the uh, plaster is set up completely and thoroughly dried, I'll remove that blue tape and I might have a few touch-ups places where I need to do a little touching up to uh, finish those off. On the other side of the layout, I've got a couple of things uh, sitting there that are uh, uh, Bachman Trains uh, Plasticville USA kits that I put together. One on the right is a coaling tower and in the middle is the depot from Woodland Scenics and then is the water tank for the steam engines, uh, part of Plasticville as well. I've got a call into uh, Bachman, uh, sent an email to them rather, to try to find out to make sure that this is actually a traditional O-gauge, uh, O-scale water tank. It just seems too short to me in comparison to the coaling tower and the other uh, structures, so I want to make sure it's not someone didn't accidentally ship me an HO by mistake, but uh, assuming it's an O-gauge, uh, it's probably going to go about where the coaling tower is now. And I'm going to do some changing or rearranging over here. And if you look to the right of the coaling tower, I've created a flat pad, level pad, to set the coaling tower on. I'm going to move the coaling tower over there into that position and I'm going to move the water tank into the position where the coaling tower uh, is now standing. Um, I'm not going to do that and not going to fasten them down until after I've, I've painted them. Uh, right now they're in the uh, colors that came out of the box, uh, basically gray and dark brown, uh, the same colors uh, that were on the roof uh, of the church. Uh, that I did over here. I painted the church uh, roof and uh, door and uh, I'm going to paint the water tower and the coaling tower as well. Um, probably a light brown for the uh, coaling tower with some black smudging from coal dust uh, and uh, I'll use a steel silver paint for the roof with a few rust streaks that I'll put into it as well. The water tank probably pretty similar. I'll probably paint the uh, base that looks black right now into a stone gray before I finish off with that. So it looks like it's setting into concrete. And then uh, when that's done, I'll move the coaling tower over to the pad. I move the water tank over to where the coaling tower is now. And I'll also finish off the pad underneath where the station is. Right now, uh, it's down to the pink foam. You can see kind of a pink foam edge there it's down to that pink foam surface and so I will uh, put some plaster cloth over that area and I will level that with plaster uh, before I 
permanently affix the depot and the water tank. Uh, the coaling tower going there, that should be uh, pretty simple, uh, just set in place once I'm done with it. The uh, village is coming along. I've uh, also did some leveling on the spot where the ethyl service station is going to go. That's the vacant lot that's across the street from those other structures that you see there. Um, and uh, so that's pretty much ready to go uh, once I decide to put that in place. I'm leaving it off for now because it allows me easy access to the streets. And uh, once I've finished uh, removing the masking tape, and I start doing the painting, painting the pavement and striping the pavement, have that shore finished up, then I'll be in a position to put the uh, service station, ethyl service station in place and permanently affix that to the layout as well as the Hero Boys House from Lionel that you see uh, in the foreground. So uh, that's where we're at today. Got uh, some good progress. And uh, I'm hopeful that once I remove that masking tape, I'll only have minor touch-ups to do with the plaster that's filling in beneath the edge of the uh, brick paving. Uh, once that's all done and patched, whatever patching needs to be done, that will get painted uh, probably a concrete gray. So that will uh, finish that off uh, around the buildings. So. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in today. I ask you that, again, as always, that you like, subscribe, and share this video. And please uh, don't hesitate to send me any comments, suggestions, uh, any of your experience that you'd want to share with me about doing your own layouts. I look forward to uh, hearing back from you. Thanks for watching.